Hello everyone and welcome to our Christmas special. This year has been eventful to say the least. UL Student Life has teamed up with UL Student Affairs in order to create this Christmas video. We are planning to bring the Christmas spirit back on campus. You know yourself like. We have a couple of things lined up for you today. First of all, a special thank you to President Kirsten May for letting us use Plassey House. We promise we won't wreck the place. Isn't that right, lads? We would like to take this opportunity to thank clubs and societies for helping us put this Christmas video together. Okay, so let's get started. What is the Irish Christmas tradition and what is the true spirit of Christmas? Luckily, we have someone who knows. Let's go to Eddie Lennon to fill us in. Over to you, Eddie. And I saw the man looking at him over the wall, turning around, and stared at him, and stared at him. And he saw the cold eyes, and donkeys have lovely soft eyes, and cows are the most placid, placid of creatures. Under normal circumstances, excuse me. But he saw their eyes, and he backed away, backed away, and ran for it, ran for home. Uh, and his mother was still there as he burst in the door. Uh, and she said, Where, where are you? Uh, what's wrong with you? And he thought, Of course, he was drunk. And she said, In the name of God Almighty, on Christmas Eve, could you not stay away from the pub for once? And she thought he was having a seizure or a fit or something. I got to bed in the name of God, she says, you, you, Amazon. Well, he went to bed all right. But in the morning, in the morning, he had no more words on you. And she could get no word out of him at all. And eventually, uh, he got a pencil, a pencil, and he wrote down what he had done to where he had been the night before, and the mother, on the name of the Lord Almighty, don't tell me you did it. She dragged him, dragged him to the church at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock mass was Christmas morning mass at that time, and into the sacristy after to meet the priest. And the priest was just taking off his vestments after the mass. And when he saw the note, he looked at the fellow. Down on your knees, you blackguard. And the priest blessed him. Nomine Patris, et filiae, spiritu sancti, amen. And he recited the prayer, the appropriate prayer, in Latin, of course. You know, all the prayers that time were in Latin. Real prayers, you know, like not like old prayers we have today, which are only kind of half prayers. In Latin for real, powerful prayers. He said the prayer anyway. And he brought back his speech halfway, three quarters way. Afterwards he was kind of he already talking like that girl, but a bad night's work. For a bad night's work he did there to listen to the animals at midnight when they were going about their own business. You should never do it, ever. They always said that at Christmas Eve. It was the only unkind thing about Christmas Eve. But otherwise, it was a happy night, a happy night for all, all, and everyone, and animals, and human beings alive, alike. But well, what a treat. I had no idea. Hey, Patter, what's your favourite thing about Christmas? There's so many things to love about Christmas. But let's ask the students of UL to see what they're looking forward to the most this Christmas. Lads, what are you looking forward to the most this Christmas? Uh, looking forward to getting home, getting some proper food, right bed for a while, break from yeah. college. Um, meeting all the boys, haven't been home in, in a few weeks, so meet the boys and go for a few points, you know? So, what are you looking forward to the most this Christmas? Um, so for me, my dog likes open presents. And he's the most um, excited about them all, so I can't wait to see him again and see that. Uh, Christmas is my birthday, so oh, forgot, I'm excited yeah. <laughs> for that. Yeah, sure. Nice pints again as well. Yeah. Fire, I'd say, no. Yeah. That'll do us. That'll do us, yeah, that's all. Christmas movies. Drinks. <laughs> Christmas swim. Driving over Christmas. Well, I'm hopefully looking forward to direct vision ending. Presents. See my cat. Having good crack. 
Uh, looking forward to just uh, finishing exams, going out with the lads, um, and just getting a couple of tables in Limerick, I suppose. It's all I can look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> uh, putting up my tree, being reunited with my pets. Um, I'm looking forward to most to going home and see my family. I think I speak for us all when we say a few points for the boys as well. You know it, absolutely. And uh, Turkey, above all. That gobble gobble. you got to get that gobble gobble. Ooh. So what are you looking forward to the most this Christmas? Definitely 12 pubs, I'd say, anyway. I mean, we don't have 12 pubs in the Manway, but sure, we'll go over them. <laughs> to seeing the boys, and that's simply it. <laughs> what I'm looking forward to most this Christmas is going to Upper Church for New Year's Eve. <laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> Wow, some really good stuff there. Fair play to all the students involved. It's not like we had to bribe them with uh, selection boxes or anything. Anyway, back over to you, Alison. Music. So, speaking of music, what's your favourite Christmas song, Kean? Oh, that's a good question, Alison. But you know, it's the one about candy. Keen, I don't think Candy by Robbie Williams is a Christmas song. You should know that, like. No, it's hard candy by Dolly Parton. You know what goes like this?
This is my winter song to you. The storm is coming soon. It rose in from the sea. My voice will be getting. I still believe in summer days and the seasons always change and life will find a way I'll be your harvest to light and send it out to light so we can start again Is love alive? Is love alive? Is love alive? Oh wow, what a song. Could be my new favourite. Christmas is always a great time for music and movies. And I totally agree with Jellison. Nothing better than a few Christmas movies around the fire. Am I right, Keen? Yeah, that's right, Patter. So lads, what's your favourite Christmas movie? Well, I don't know about you, Keen, but my favourite is definitely this one from the Film Society. i 
Really well done guys, coming soon to a cinema near you. Another great thing about Christmas is the presents. Who doesn't like presents? Oh, fact Alison, nothing better than the thought that goes into it too. I hear the Crafts Society have a surprise this year for Pater Collins. Let's take a look. A huge thanks to the Craft Society. I can't wait to get all my presents. Now I'm going to pass you over to Father John Campion to do a small reading. Over to you, Johnny Boy. Christmas is a time when we celebrate with family and friends. It's a time when we remember relatives and those who cannot be with us. And particularly this year, as many are not able to return home to celebrate with their family. For others, they're remembering loved ones who are no longer with them. For some, perhaps they're lonely, lonely at this time of the year. And I'd like to share with you a Christmas message. May the true message of Christmas dwell in your heart as you treasure, treasure the mystery of the birth of the baby in the stable. May the light of the Christmas candle brighten any dark places within. May you be blessed with the eyes of a child as you open to the wonder of every moment. May the song of the angels echo in your life, bringing a message of comfort and hope. May the stillness of the night deepen your desire to rest silently in God's mysterious presence. May the story of Christmas awaken in you memories of loved ones and childhood dreams. May you find courage to open the door of your heart to all those who challenge your compassion and patience. 
May the coming year be one of support and growth. May you experience inner freedom and strength. May your restless heart be filled with peace, a peace that lasts throughout the year. May you carry this peace to your family, to your community and to our world. May you be blessed this Christmas. Thank you, Father John. So this year, some of our student parents brought their kids into a special event to see a very special person. Isn't that right, Padder? Yes, Alison, that's correct. Some would say Santo's looking quite well this year, to say the least. Seemingly, he played a blinder with the children of UL students. But I never got to see him. WTH. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I know it's been a tough year, guys, but stay responsible over the next few weeks throughout your Christmas. And we'll be back to normality in no time! Merry Christmas and stay safe! So I don't know about you guys, but every year my family always fights about who puts the first decoration up on the tree. The UL President Kirsten May got to put the first decoration on the on-campus Christmas tree this year. It looked absolutely unbelievable. Let's take a look. everyone. Let's join together while we are raining apart during the Christmas season and send us your wishes for our community tree. Thank you. Hello everyone, this year has been very difficult and we have some people working from home and some working from campus. For this reason, we wanted to do this Christmas video. A huge thanks to everyone involved, including Eddie Lenehan, Father John, Patricia Moriarty, Ash and Ryan and Clubs and Societies. Thank you so much guys, we're wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hopefully one that will be better than 2020. Stay safe guys. <laughs>